Ken's Maple Leaf Forge and Stuff. Ken's Maple Leaf Forge and Stuff made me spit all over my laptop screen as I just tried to say his channel name after drinking coffee. Ken is a Canadian blacksmith and from time to time he'll show his working with really hot metal. From time to time. Lately, Ken has been showing viewers his travel vlogs, and there are lots of live streams so we can all chit-chat and watch the road or whatever he's showing us, which is good for some of us living in places that aren't, you know, letting us roam very far from home. We can live vicariously through Ken's Maple Leaf Forge and stuff. The best part? You can stop and pee as many times as you want, <laughs> and Ken has to stop. <laughs> Ken doesn't always take us to lands far, far away. Sometimes it's just hanging out around New Brunswick. And then there are the ASMR videos. Love ASMR, but don't always want to have people eating in your ear? Yeah. Ken's Maple Leaf Forge and stuff has some great videos for you. Don't like travel, metal forging, or ASMR? How about lawn maintenance? and gardening. Ken tries to keep it quiet, but he'll sometimes let it slip that he can do more than turn plants into mulch. He also shows us nature's wild side with his trail cams. If you love candid camera footage like that, you're in for a treat with the uploads from Ken's DJI Mavic Mini Drone. Well, except that one time. <laughs> How'd you land it in the water, Ken? Ken's Maple Leaf Forge and stuff rounds out with other lifestyle videos and shout outs. Check out Ken's Maple Leaf Forge and stuff. You say it enough times, all the spit leaves your mouth. <laughs> Backyard Bees NC. All the way in Winston Salem, North Carolina, Backyard Bees NC is all about Saskatchewan bees. Those are the bees that broke out of Alcatraz and moved to Saskatchewan. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what happened. The backyard Bees NC has been working very hard to keep his hives happy. Sometimes it means dressing like a confused astronaut and making weird looking PB&J where the B stands for a bee. And sometimes it also means playing the drums for him to help him sleep. Pretty sure that's what that is. But if you really want to be sure, you ought to check that video out. Backyard Bees NC shows us the fun side of beekeeping as well as the not so fun side and they pretty much balance each other out. He's got some sorry swarm videos that made me realize that not all bees want to live in a bed and breakfast where they're fed homemade pollen patties, not Krabby Patties, and they're given TLC by Brian and the family. And did you know you could also rescue bee swarms like you do cats and dogs and horses? Like, how do you even do that? Backyard Bees NC knows, and they have a lot of videos that spill the bees, I mean, beans, on rescue swarms. And we won't even talk about how dirty this stuff can get. That's that HBO After Dark kind of stuff right there. <laughs> Backyard Bees NC also does giveaways. If you're into apiary kind of stuff, you can win some pretty cool merchandise. This channel is non-stop beekeeping action, so if you like that sort of thing, or if you're trying to figure out why others like that sort of thing, Backyard Bees NC may be the channel for you. Brett and Cindy's TN Living. First and foremost, let's just get this out of the way right now. Brett and Cindy's tea and living are not cannibals hiding behind an unsuspecting and underrated YouTube channel about self-sufficiency and homesteading with a Tennessee flair. There, said it, and they don't show it a lot. They have improvised a dryer and made it into a solar dryer because Brett and Cindy's tea and living is quietly harnessing the power of the sun and little by little becoming a lot more self-sustained homestead. They also have a rain catchment system that works very well. Not impressive enough? 
in the cooler time of the year when everybody's sick of the county fair, Brett and Cindy take us to the truck and antique tractor pools. Brett's also been known to toss around a little bit of dust with his RC truck. But he's got so many truck and tractor pull videos that the show Pink's All Out is talking about reviving their series just to put all of Brett's videos in it. It could happen. While we wait on that phone call, check out the videos of Brett's old farm all tractor. Just as Brett and Cindy can rig up renewable resource conservatories, they also show us their tangible products of their imaginations. Like the gazebo. Have you all seen that thing? They love to tease viewers by constantly mentioning it and then they only give a little sneak peek puzzle that we have to put together ourselves. It's not just some garden ornament. Did I say garden? Yeah, I did. Because for Brent and Cindy, gardening and God go hand in hand and they're also tightly knitted into their channel. And their channel shows that they are gardening maniacs. They're growing all sorts of delights out there, and it's kind of nice to sit back and relax while somebody else is slinging dirt. I'm talking raised beds, trellis climbing, stakes, poles, towers, and the sizes of their harvest. They're phenomenal. I'd almost say they go to the grocery store and buy truckloads of produce just for YouTube, but one, they're not out to compromise their convictions for a like, and two, there ain't no food on the shelves. <laughs> Hey, why does that ketchup look like a Bloody Mary, though? There's more than one way to grow lots of stuff, and Brett and Cindy's TN Living are keeping it fresh, literally. So if Brett and Cindy's homage to Southern Living isn't floating your boat, and you don't care much for gardening, but you want to exploit their channel to get the word out about your own, shameless shout-outs are the place for that. Brett and Cindy's TN Living dedicates entire videos to help other YouTube creators tell about their channels and find new channels to watch. Bongo thinks Brett and Cindy's TN Living is mm, a pretty good channel, right? But don't take Bongo's word for it. He's kind of biased. You should definitely check out Brett and Cindy's TN Living for yourself. Blacksmithing, traveling, and ASMR beekeeping in the bowels of North Carolina. Yeah, I said bowels. <laughs> His videos really moved me. <laughs> Tennessee homesteading and soup for the soul. Are these your people?